Hello, all of you very gloriously wonderful people. This is the Benefactor Schlagen GT, one of the unreleased sports cars from the Arena War DLC. We should see this vehicle being released in the next few weeks, but I was using uh, single-player PC mods to get some footage of it uh, for my Will It Off-Road series uh, in the snow, actually. And while I was driving it, I noticed that it felt familiar, uh, it, not only in its sound, but in its overall performance, it, it's quick, uh, it handles really well, it's composed in the corners. And the more I drove it, the more I realized that it reminded me a lot of the Pariah. And of course, the Pariah has been the reigning king of the sports cars class for a long time. Uh, not only does it reign in that class, but it absolutely crushes everything else. So I wanted to kind of get the, the slog in and go around what is a rough approximation of the track that Ruffy uses to test cars in GT Online, which is also one of my favorite tracks, uh, and see how it does, and then do the same thing with the Pariah, and then we'll also do a head-to-head -head drag race uh, at the airport later. So on that lap, we got 1 minute 14 seconds, almost flat, it was 0 .01. Uh, so let's take a look and see what the Pariah can do. And we have the Pariah lined up the exact same spot. We're gonna take this one and see what it does around the lap. Of course, I wanna point out, both of these vehicles are fully upgraded. Uh, even though I was using mods, none of those mods impact vehicle performance in any way. It's just menu is all I was using. And none of the mods to change any of the, the vehicle characteristics within menu were enabled. So this is literally just taking it into Los Santos Customs and upgraded it, not even using menu to upgrade it. So that, just wanted to get it out there for full disclosure, both fully upgraded, nothing else at, at work here. So the prior, as you can kind of see, if you were paying attention to that last lap, uh, is getting up to some higher speeds, uh, even in around the corners, it's been able to carry more speed. Definitely feels like a quicker lap. But of course, as I was recording this, I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, it wasn't until after I recorded everything and was able to see what the actual times were that I found out what you're about to find out just a little over three minutes into this video. You know, most YouTubers stretch it out till 10 so they get all their ad revenue. Not me. But here we go. Coming up to our finish line. And the Pariah comes in at 108. And if you take that 18 at the end, that's actually 18 frames out of 60 frames. So you do the math, that gives you 0.3. So minute eight seconds and three tenths so three tenths of a second at the end so not bad not bad at all uh let's look at them actually on a split screen though both of those laps these were the best laps that they both received and and take a look at what is about the pariah that actually gets it around the track faster and here we go i have the video lined up so that both cars take off at the exact same time. These are the same two laps that you just looked at, just without a timer. Of course, since I had to crop it, you can't see the speedos in the bottom right-hand corner, but trust me, same lap. You can go back and compare if you don't believe me. But you can see the Pariah is already pulling away. Uh, so not only does it have better acceleration, uh, but it's, it's able to carry a lot more speed in the corners. And like I said, though, full disclosure, I don't have as much experience in the Schlagen as I do in the Praia. I drive the Praia all the time. You're looking at, like, I've been driving the Schlagen maybe an hour total game time, and about half of that was in the snow, so... Take it with a grain of salt. These are not official results until Bruffy actually gets a chance to test them. However, the, the lack of experience is in no way going to account for a six-second difference between my lap times maybe a second or two but not six seconds i might not be the best racer but i'm not horribly inconsistent so there we go quite the big difference between our two lap times let's do a drag race so we've got the slogan lined up ready to go gonna head to the end of the runway and again this everybody always does this we're just go to the airport and drag race and cars come out to compare them and it's so terrible to do because uh, it doesn't give you anything but which car accelerates better because you don't even get to the top speed of a vehicle usually by the end of this runway but for shits and giggles we will 
do it anyway. So 121, 121 miles an hour, 22.48 seconds. Let's see what the pariah can do. Already you can see that acceleration. Man, I there was no doubt in my mind on this that the acceleration was better. One in a straight line, it's just so much more obvious. Uh, already at a higher speed than we were. We're already beating it. We were at 121. Look at that, our top speed already. So there we go, 126. And it took us 21.36 seconds. Poor Michael. It hurt. You know what? Let's line them up those side by side just for the sake of it. So we can see exactly how close they really are. So here we go. Got them lined up. Got it timed up so that everything takes off at the exact same time. And again, even though the Pariah is only a little over a second quicker, that second adds up. Especially in a race situation. Uh, that one second adds up really quick. So that's why, you know, going to the airport and comparing cars head to head is useless. But we did it anyway, because that's what everybody always does in GTA. And as we let the Pariah take its victory lap, that's our conclusion. That is all we can glean from, glean from this, is that the Pariah is most likely still the king of the sports class. I doubt that uh, it won't take... I know it won't take roughly as long to get either one of these cars around the track. Uh, he'll do much better than I did, but... I seriously doubt that we're going to see anything different from these results. He might get a little bit better performance, a lot better performance, honestly, out of the Schlagen, but I bet there'll still be a pretty significant gap between the two. But who knows? I could be very, very wrong. We'll have to wait and find out until his official testing comes out, but for now, I'm willing to call it that no, the Pariah has not been defeated. It is still the king of the sports car class. Hey, if you guys would like to see me test uh, maybe the muscles cars, muscle cars, I can English. If you guys would like to see me test the muscle cars up against uh, the tops in their class, just drop a comment down below. I'll be glad to do that one afternoon. But until then, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.